Hey guys, it's Gloria coming to you on Tuesday, July the 3rd, 2018. Yeah, tomorrow, the big 4th of July. Um, so much time just flying by more and more, faster. Uh, in a couple weeks or so, it's my five-year anniversary since I had my gastric bypass. You know, it's it's been a unbelievable journey it's been hard but on other aspects it's been a good journey because without that journey I would have I don't think I'd made it this long I really don't there's so many things the ins and outs the ups and downs about the gastric bypass well actually weight loss um, surgery in general like I had no clue. Um, well, somewhat. Let me let me uh, take that back. How easy it is to have a regain, and it is so hard to take it back off. Actually, losing it isn't as hard. It seems it's just getting that mindset. I started eating. Uh, I, this a confession. I mean, straight up. I started eating slider foods before i didn't know what exactly what slider foods was i thought it was just stuff that went down easy but it wasn't it was st well yeah it did go down easy and it stayed down and i could eat a crap load of it and i started gaining weight like my uh snacking at night i'd uh, say eat some popcorn that's cool i did a whole bag uh, I started eating um, graham crackers because I wanted that crunch. I wanted a little bit of sweet, but I didn't want it to be a sweet enough to make me sick. Well, I slid on that one. I got right to eat, you know, three or four. That's fine. But then again, I started adding one more, one more, one more. For I knew I was eating the whole little brown pack. Let me put my phone on. Um, on sign here so it won't drive us crazy beeping my sisters is sending me text messages but um yeah i was uh i was uh tempting fate to say uh i was made my first mistake by eating uh chocolate and that was you know several years ago because i started feeling my sugar drop and i thought well i'll just Try just, you know, a little, little piece of chocolate, bring the sugar back out. I did that. Didn't make me sick. Well, start snowballing. I ate a little bit more, a little bit more. I knew I was eating a whole candy bar. But even though, you know, I'm, I'm five years out now, or almost five, it seems like my pouch has went into reverse. Because I've heard people say when you first uh, have it, you know, the, the surgery and everything, if you try eating something sweet, you're going to get sick. Well, it didn't happen so much. But now, if I try to eat something that's very sweet, Lord, how mercy makes me sick. Or milk products. I can tolerate so much, say, like a cup of yogurt, you know, my uh, sugar-free yogurt, low-fat and all that, I do fine. Well, on done me... I told my husband, said, you know, I really, you know, since it's so hot out, because it's hotter than I'll get out here in Georgia. I mean, it's getting, you know, 90 to 100 degrees, and it's hot. So, um, I told him, I said, give me some sugar-free ice cream. I want a little something to cool down. Well, I just sat down, take my, you know, my little spoon, because you know you ain't supposed to eat very much. Well, you know, you got to know those little spoons do bad up. I'd eat some of that, and all of a sudden, I'd get, you know, feel, you know, satisfied. And, but when I'd come, you know, in my room to do whatever, that would hit me. Not so much the sugar, or maybe it's a sugar alcohol, but then the, the milk in it. My stomach just like, just tore all to pieces. But I have had several bouts doing the sugar-free, and it made me sick. I need to just learn to eat crap like that alone. But, you know, you feel like every now and then you really need to treat yourself, but be warned. When you start doing that, it's going to bite you in the butt, big time. But, um, 
<clears throat> when I started my journey, I was at, well, about 260. Was well, not, no, 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 no. Let me back up. Not 260, 360. I've had times before where the doctor scales wouldn't even weigh me. And that was embarrassing. It just like to kill me. Well, I started my journey in December before that, going to the gym, working out, walking, all that. Oh, I was I was just on fire to get that, that weight off. And I, I did. I dropped like 30 pounds. And then when I had my surgery, uh, before I knew it, I was at 360. And bam, I started dropping us below 300. And I was like, oh, my God. I couldn't believe it. That was my lifelong dream, get below 300 pounds. And then I said, well, I wanted to lose 50 uh, by the time I was 50 years old. And I did. I had that 50 pounds gone. And I was so proud. And then, before I knew it, the numbers kept going down, 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 and down. And then I got to where I was going around between 220 and 225. I felt good. Oh, my gosh. I felt so good. But then I had that hernia, and I dropped to 212. Well, see, see myself like that, I had that body dysmorphia, and I'd heard about that before, and I thought, y'all just full of crap, you know, there ain't no way you're going to be that skinny and stuff, not be able to recognize it. I did. And you know, the, the thing I did recognize the most, and it's the weirdest thing, when I look in a mirror at myself. My head just looked so abnormal. My face looked abnormal because I wasn't used to seeing my face without all that fat around it. It was a very strange time because I, I couldn't really understand it. And I should have been going to the support groups. But, you know, one thing I have learned, a lot of the stuff you learn on young, it, it's a... Uh, uh, trial and error thing. There's a lot of stuff you don't know. Uh, you need to figure it out. But, you know, I've gone on YouTube a lot. I've had a lot of friends on YouTube that I love. And I love watching them. Um, I've seen, you know, several people that's, you know, lost it on their own. I've seen lots that's had the different surgeries. I have some friends that's had revisions. You know, because you know, the, um, you know, their pouches failed them, their tools failed them, or they failed their tools. I don't know which way you want to go with that, but I wish you guys the best of luck because I've had uh, three friends on my YouTube that's had the revisions and had success. And, look, you know, I mean, they look really good. I've got some just starting out, but, you know, you see they're losing and they're just doing really good. And, you know, congratulations, guys. Y'all, you know, uh, y'all made that journey a second time. And I know it has to be really, really hard, painful. But with what I went through, I, I, I don't think I could go through that again. That takes a lot of courage, knowing what you're going into, and you're going to be facing it again. Um, I had went, you know, religiously. I'd go back and see my doctor, you know, my gastric bypass doctor. I mean, I was just right on the mark every year. Well, when I was maybe a year and a half to two years out, I went and saw him. And I told him, I said, you know, I'm feeling really good. You know, and he said, I was looking good and all that. And I told him, I said, well, my next step, I want to um, have this extra skin removed. Well, right then, he made a fatal mistake. He says, well, with your insurance... They'll never pay for you to have that um, that surgery. You might as well give it up. Man, that just slapped on me like a ton of bricks. Because I've always had issues with my stomach. Always. I hate my stomach. And even now, just looking at it, it disgusts me. Because I've always had a big stomach. But now... It seems even worse because where I have lost weight, it's just, just they are flopping, hanging. It, it disgusts me. I feel like I don't look good or nothing. Now, if I manage to tuck and roll, you know, I see myself as something better if I can hide it. 
But see, I don't feel like I'd even be eligible because, you know, I still got, it feels to me like fat in it. But I've seen, um, you know, pictures of different people that has the loose skin stuff. But theirs is like a lot um, more deflated than mine because I feel like mine still has a lot of fat in it. And I think, well, that would automatically disqualify me. I meant I've never even had the option to see uh, a surgeon. I don't even know who I would see. You know, um, I would love to see that doctor now. I watch him all the time, my 600-pound life. Oh, my gosh. He is so, so good to those people, but he's hard. And that's the thing about it. You have to handle your situation, but you can't handle with kid gloves because if you do, that allows um, failure, I think. But anyhow, uh, right now, you know, at my weight, I'd got back up to 266, 267. And oh, I was feeling so bad. And I was like, God, I got to stop this. I got to stop. Well, I made up my mind that I'm not going to snack. I, I quit buying the graham crackers and all that junk. Well, I, you know, so I had me some popcorn. I love popcorn. And then I'm trying to fight snacking. That's where my thing is at night, snacking. But when I did go to, um, I went to see my bariatrician uh, a couple weeks ago. And you know what that man said to me? He looked at me, he said, uh, he said, well, you know, you're almost five years out. I'm like, yeah. He's like, uh, so what are you doing here? I was like, excuse me? He said, are you having issues? I'm like, well, no. I said, my issue right now is regain. I want to get it stopped and get back on track. I don't want to get back to 300 pounds. I do not want to go back there. So he told me, he said, well, this is what you do. This is what you're doing wrong. He kind of changed his tone. And he said, I need to eat small meals throughout the day, not like three large ones or whatever. Just eat small meals. Keep myself from getting that uh, hungry, hungry feeling, like hungry hippo feeling. So I've tried to, you know, do that. And I've got down, back down to... 256. Woo woo. I'm happy about that. Um, so that that's where I am today. Uh, I'm going to keep trying. Oh, yeah, y'all. When you get a chance, watch Mama's in the Kitchen. It's Gastric Rose. Man, she makes some stuff, make your mouth water. I watched one video where she made um, it was a roast. It's called a try something roast. Oh, man, that looks so good. She air baked it. And I've got one of those. Um, well, I don't have one of those air bakers. I have a, the air fryer, but not the baker. I'm going to check that out. Okay, well, I've rattled on long enough. I'm almost up to 15 minutes. I don't know if they'll let me do that. Or let me upload it on YouTube, that is. But you notice I'm getting my gobbler back for a while. It did start filling up. But I'm getting it back, and I'm noticing my skin getting loose again. And I don't know if y'all can see that bruise. But I gave blood the other day. Got me a cool t-shirt out of it. I told myself, I'll just give y'all blood. Let's just get the t-shirt. <laughs> but anyhow, y'all have an awesome day. And remember, guys, the newbies, stick to the plan. Don't go off plan. Don't start eating all that sweet stuff again because it will bite you in the butt. Literally. I've had some issues. Get that water in. You got to do all that. So, guys, you have an awesome day. Love you. Bye.